You guys ready? Me? Are you guys ready, Freddy? Not really. Yeah. Sure, let's do this. You guys ready for this? We got no choice but to be ready now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of our biggest show yet to date. <coughs> Alongside new creation. Sir, yes, sir. What's up? And my boy Junior all the way at the end. Yeah, yeah. I go by the name of Miracles. And today we're going to talk a lot of football, a whole lot of football. We're going to talk about top injuries, the biggest upsets of the week. Oh, my God. So many crazy upsets. Um, We're going to rank what, who we think our top five teams are and who we think our lowest, lowest teams are. Um, We're going to get into a little bit of a mini game. And once more, my boy Ramon go cook. Sir. Look it up. Yo, I, heard, I heard you got a three a three for one special today. Yes, we got a combination. Oh, my God. Jamaican say. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, what's up with you guys? How you guys been? Good. I've been, I've been chilling. Chilling, chilling. Um, I'm liking the weather change a little bit. You like you like the chilliness? Yeah, a little break from the over the top hot. Okay, I don't blame you. I love the hot. Yo, we we rarely got any this year. Any what? Yo, the heat. Yo, I thought it was gonna be like all summer. You know? I was gonna ride my bike all the time. I think I think the summer just flew before we knew it. It, it just flew, bro. Yeah, yeah it really flew too did. fast. It just then. Um, yeah, so what about you man, you uh, you finally uh, n- like somewhat not sick anymore? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. I feel better as you guys can see. Oh, nah, the COVID is gone. Cost something. I man. was I was yeah. dying last week. The I COVID is gone now, man. You're nah, good, yeah, man. for sure, for sure. Nah, listen, a uh, funny story. Um, I linked up with one of my friends. I go way back. Um, I met him in DR, in Dominican Republic. For those who don't know who DR is, um, and I happened to run into him, and I was like, "Wow, the world is really small. Like, I would have never thought I would see him again." Um, anyway, anyhow, we're chopping it up. We're talking. And he's telling me his story, right? Funny story. So when we was little, um, um, he used to always chill with the ladies, with the girls. You know, when we would play, you know, all the guys would kick it over here. He'd always be chilling with the girls and, you know, playing games with them. Um, in case you don't know, in DR, toda la vecina, all the neighbors, they're all chismosas. They all like to gossip and, and talk junk about the whole neighborhood in general. Of course. Since the neighborhood is always small, everybody talks about everybody. <laughs> Point is, when we was little, since he used to play with the girls, um, one of the moms used to think, like, pretty much roast him all the time in front of everybody, you know, make him feel small. To the point where he, he had, she had almost had people believing that he was, like, gay or something. Like, you know, why is tu, por qué tu siempre estás con la niña? Tu eres pájaro algo, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you gay or something? So, you know, we're, at, okay, so, again, fast forward into time, um, He's catching me up and everything that's going on. And he's telling me, bro, I'm going through some some stuff, some stuff. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? So he's like, yeah, so, you know, I'm in a bit of a situation where um, I got two girls pregnant. And I'm like, you got two girls pregnant? He was, like, he was like, yeah, you want to find the funny part? The mom was the lady that used to always call me gay when I was small. The mom, his mom-in-law, because it was her daughter's. Who's gay now? He got pregnant, bro. Who's gay now, lady? I was like, I guess, I guess what? <laughs> Yo. He was like, yeah, bro. I'm in a bit of a situation with both of them. But it was just a funny story how everything worked. I was like, bro, you the king of petty. Bro, <laughs> I don't know if it was on purpose or not. But, bro, oh, my God. That's the, that's the Uno reverse card. Oh, my that's God. Wild. You want to talk about how life works, bro? Moral of the story, don't judge a book of its cover. Or they will fuck your daughter and get her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Something along don't those lines. Don't get us twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. Um, I can't imagine that. You're having two girls pregnant at the same time. Man. I don't know, I don't know what I would do. Man. That's a two for one, man. I don't know. I'll the lead headache. the country. <laughs> the headache. I can only imagine. All right. Well, anyway, anyhow, let's get to my favorite segment of the day where I read the comments from last week. Let's see what these guys had to say about us. I hope it was nice things. So we got Brian Moniz. Ten years since the Jets beat the Pats, Chico. Throws the toothpick. Hey, you're talking to the bad guy, man. Talk to me nice. (laughs) Nice, that's right. Yo, these Pats fans are always getting on you, bro. Don't worry. 
Oh, oh, okay. So Phil, oh, my boy Phil Martin's 1955. Yo, he's becoming a, a, a regular. <laughs> yo, but he, he throwing fires now. We got a stalker. He said, the 49ers will take down the Chiefs. Yo, what did I tell you, bro? Yo. When the Chiefs. I, I like that. What? I like the sound of that, too. What? Man. I agree with you. <laughs> I like the sound of that. You hear that? Oh, we agree with Only you. Only thing I agree with him is that. Yo, I, that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate you guys gaining up on my team right now, bro. Um, <laughs> Chubbs twenty twelve says Ramon was mad hyped the other day about his team. Woo! And I'm hype again. Oh shit. shoot! All right, all right. I mean, I guess let's just jump into this. Let's just, guys, make sure you leave your comments. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Share it to anybody who would like this video. I love reading these comments, man. You guys make me laugh always. <laughs> um. All right. All right. So let's just jump into it. Quick take. Injuries of the week. It's been a crazy week full of injuries this week, man. Um. Man. Um. Our, just the quarterbacks that got hurt this week. Justin Fields. Um. He left the game in the third quarter. Ryan Tannehill. Uh. T Trevor Lawrence got hurt too. I mean, I don't know how long he gonna be out for, but hopefully they get him back by next week. You know what I'm saying? Um, Baker Mayfield got hurt too, and Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, Jimmy's always hurt, but oh, hospital Jimmy. But hospital Jimmy. but you know what I'm saying? Oh, everybody got hurt this week, man. Another another really important thing, and Ramon's gonna like this, bro. Um, they were showing a lot of Aaron Rodgers on the field throwing the ball. No, oh, why not, man? It's Jesus. Oh my God! You know what I'm saying? He was oh, just no. slinging him down. Oh, he's, no. he's gonna keep. He wants. It. He wants y'all to see a little bit. You know what's going on. That's all. He knows what he's doing. Oh my God, yo! No, man. I don't think he. I don't think he. I don't he think he'll. He he'll be back before the season ends. Yeah, yo, but when, when, when do you think Aaron Rodgers will be back? Either the last week of the season or the second to last week. What? Damn. You think he coming oh, back? Man. Yo, bro, he coming uh, back. He coming back uh, next year, I think, bro. I think we could bet that. Oh, are we, are we gonna put the? Are we betting the push-ups? You want to bet ten push-ups to come back I this bet year? Bet you twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? Oh, Aaron, you putting money down? That Aaron Rodgers comes back before the season ends. At least minimum, um, minimum second to last week. So twenty dollars, second to last week. E either the second to last week or the last week or the last week. You know what? Does that sound like a... Does that sound okay, like okay, a... Okay, 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 hold on. Returns as is he's going to play an NFL game, yes, not the he, practice squad. No, like... An he, NFL he, game. He, he, they're going to play him. Like, 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 like 100% ready, like, yeah, you're going to play Yo, him. I, I, I'll take that bet, $20. Well, it, I don't know, I don't know if he'll be... Hold on, I'm shaking it right the, now. The bet, the bet is not... Shaking it right now. The bet is not a, a start or nothing like that, but he will touch the field. What what is that? Well, hold, on, mean, hold, on, hold 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 on. So, so let me further, back. He gonna let me, start, bro. Let me further explain. He he probably let's say he could come in for Zach during the game, and then he'll. he'll I don't think they're gonna in. do that. I think when they return him, it'll be because he'll be the starter. It'll be bro. clear cut start. I mean, it'd be better to do that. Yeah. But what I'm saying, you still think it won't be if you guys make the playoffs? Maybe in the playoffs. I mean, you won't make the playoffs. I don't, don't want to guarantee went like uh everything else, but he will play. All right, I'll I'll, I'll 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 take I'll take that bet. I'll still take the bet. Yes, he's bro. not getting on the field this year. Is what I'm thinking. All right, so you're betting he's not. I'm betting he is. I, I, Twenty dollars. Y'all heard we that, in right? We in here. I'll take the bet. It I like my money by Mondays. It is what it is. I like my money by Mondays. All right, that's fair. That's fair. I just remember you saying that. All ones, right? All Yo, ones. guys, all ones. All ones. Just remember him saying that because when the season ends and Aaron Rodgers hasn't touched the field, I'm gonna be like all ones, Ramon. You gotta pay him. Right here in front of the Man. camera, my G. I'll yo, do the same. Yo, 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 I'll do the yo, same. Yo, knowing Junior, he'll probably call the judge right now and be like, yo. <laughs> you guys can, better hurry can, up. Can you play like this Sunday? Yo, make it happen. <laughs> make it happen quick. Make it happen fast. Oh, my God. So stay tuned, guys. We just made a bet. You guys already know how this goes. So let's uh, see who will win. Stay tuned for that this week. Bomb? I can't wait. For this bomb. I love winning. Yeah. I love it's winning. one of the bombs. Um, <laughs> all right. So moving on to the next segment. A whole lot of upsets. A whole lot of upsets, guys. Yeah. A lot of upsets? The league was full of upsets this week. You think so? Yeah. Let's let you wanna oh. touch it a little bit? Because because I kinda I kinda I kinda messed up on the upsets because I so I missed out this week, but I've been reading a lot of highlights and stuff like that. You know, I still try to keep up because as y'all know, I don't know a lot about football. Yes, sir. We got my, we got man Junior in one hand and we got miracles in the next hand. Yes, sir. Y'all are learning with him. For what for what I've been seeing, mm -hmm. yo, 
So it's, it's between two teams that I've been seeing, all right? It's either the Eagles and the 49ers. For me, from what I saw, those were the biggest upsets. Of course. Right? Because yeah, y'all know, you know, because they had a, they were undefeated. Yes. 100%, right? Yes. Yep. All right, That's... so who had, who had the biggest? Well, the bigger upset. I <sighs> you want to go first? No, no, no. Start it up, Bubba. My, t- my team versus the Eagles. You think so? We've been the biggest upset so far the past three weeks. Okay. We're, we're like that team, I guess, that's just the team that's just going to be upsetting teams. Oh, okay. So you... That's what I feel. All right, all right, you all right. different? So, all right. So, in all fairness, in all fairness, um, never in a million years that I think that the, that the Eagles was going to be... Uh, that the Jets was going to beat the Eagles, bro. I, I would have never, ever would have ever thought that. So I'll give you that. Anything's possible. I'll give us. you that. But, but, but I think the Browns beating um, San Francisco was a bit, bit more of an upset, B. Only because I say, uh, the only reason why I say that is because they didn't even have Deshaun Watson. You know what I'm saying? You playing a backup quarterback and you the you the mother effing 49ers. Because as when we came into when we came into this argument, every week everybody been saying the 49ers are it. The 49ers are the team. The 49ers are the team. The best team in the in the NFL. Everybody said, oh, the Eagles was winning, but we all agreed that they weren't playing the best football out there, right? Oh no. Yeah. So San Francisco, although they were missing two of their best players, I still think that they still had enough weapons to beat the Browns. Now granted. The Browns do have the best defense in the NFL. I'll give them that. But it's not like they had any offense anywhere like that. So that's the only reason why I think I think that the San Francisco losing the best team in the NFL, losing to the Browns, they, they, how many wins they have? Three wins, I think? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but to me, I feel like it depends on, like, so who is, who is worse? The Browns or the Jets? I mean, the Jets are worse than the Browns. But San Francisco's better than the Eagles. San Francisco should have never lost that game. I, I think it's us because there's more incentive with us. There's more talk with us. There's more pressure with every game that we play. I I I think game. I think head to toe. I think head to toe. And <laughs> damn, I sound like a Jets fan. But I think head to toe, the the Jets without <laughs> Deshaun, right? yeah. the the Jets without like Deshaun, I think is better than the Browns without. I'm sorry, the Browns without Deshaun, I think is better. Cough. I can't even say this right. The Jets, the, the way that they are, are better than the Brown without Deshaun Jackson. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. Man. Am I wrong on that? We've had injury. So have they? Like, yeah, they have. Yes. Yeah, That's what, and they just lost Deshaun two weeks ago. That's yeah, what I'm trying to get I at. I don't know. There's no pressure on the Browns like us. We got the most pressure probably out of any team in the league. I can't argue that. I guess. I guess you guys have more eyes on you guys than the Hell Browns, yeah. but. But that was my debate. That was the only reason why. But either way, they were both crazy blowouts. I mean, crazy upsets. Great games. I would have I would have lost all my money if I just made the bets on just those two teams. So yo, yo, not for nothing. Yo, crazy, yo, bro. Yo, yo, I actually got it right. Yo, last week I said it. What'd you say? Well, yo, Jets. You said Jets? Yeah, I I, I picked Jets winning. Yeah. No, you did not. Yeah. I got to look at that list. Hey, I got to look at the list. We're going to need the, the fans to go back to that episode, rewatch it. And if he's right or wrong, give an answer in the in the comments. That's a fair. That's a fair. Now, now one more thing before we move on that I wanted to talk about was Robert Sala after the game, after your Jets game. You know, he was talking about. Played a gauntlet of quarterbacks. And um, I know we haven't gotten all wins, but we've embarrassed all of them. And uh, just really, really proud of, of the defense and its resolve. Uh, How... You know, you guys ran through the best quarterback and yeah. embarrassed them. Something yeah. along those lines. Who said ran? And that's because Jalen Hurts threw three interceptions against the Jets. He just got paid. Mahomes threw two, almost three interceptions against the Jets. I say almost because sounds like a penalty. pattern, right? And Josh Allen threw three interceptions against the Jets. Three is the lucky number. So you know he has a point. His defense is elite. I'm not trying to say they not. I just think because they're weak quarterback play, they ain't going to make it far. That's what I've been saying since week one. And maybe I sound like a hater. Um, but 
at this point, you slightly kind of off. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, listen, you guys won. You guys beat the Eagles. I'm happy because now my Chiefs are tied for first place with all these other teams. Oh They're going to lose it. So thank you. You know, thank you, Jets. I Yo. Can we get the claps? Which one's the clap? Nope. Which one's the clap? Which one's the clap? You got a lot of impact on you guys. There you go. That's the clap. That's the clap. That's the clap. I, I appreciate you guys. You guys owe us. <laughs> Pretty much. We, I mean, we, we, we gave you that L. That's not enough. The next time we're taking your quarterback, I, so you're, you're, you're gonna see them in the playoffs, right? And then you're gonna beat them. We're gonna. It's gonna be a big embarrassment. We're gonna take my home soul. Listen, 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 listen to why I'm not a hater. What, Zach Wilson uh, completion percentage, sixty percent. Let's get to that. Let's That's get thirty first in the league. Do we got enough time? to Passing speak yards, one eighty two. That's thirty second in the league. Uh, touchdown to Ento. Four to five. Thirty first in the league. That's four touchdowns to five right. insoles. And his passer rating is seventy three point four. We're gonna do a little math right now. Yeah, bro. We got enough time right now to do a little math. What do you wanna do with math, bro? All right, that sixty percent completion rating, that yeah. would have been a seventy if there wasn't four drop passes. Bro, are we doing this? Let's right now? Let's break it down. Seventy will put him at where? Yeah, but the, you can't do that because I, I need you to answer that question. You can't do that because the, 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 fans, the, the, know. the fans drop the pass, bro. You can't say if you we, have to. Why not? You have to. You we have don't to live in imaginary us. world. Listen, no, look, I don't okay. do that. <laughs> I do we're gonna, facts, we're gonna, walk, we're gonna walk you to this. Nah, I don't do that. I don't if like I don't like imagination. If a quarterback world. is at seventy percent completion yeah. rating. Where would that put him amongst quarterbacks? But he's sixty point four. That's the reality, bro. For those four catches. Would have put him listen, at 70, I, which would have been mid-tier. I don't know if could have, would have. Mid-tier could have, huh? That would have put him right at mid-tier numbers. Yeah, yeah, that, That's a lot of imagination. The reality is he is 60%. Hey, that wasn't his fault. Which puts him 31. Bro, he's he trying to make you come back to reality. You can't blame other people. I, I got to break it down for him. <laughs> I got to break it down for him. Um, all right, so on, on the other Yo. side of things, another um, important news is Brock Purdy lost, guys. His That's very loss, first man. loss ever in the regular season. Playing from Why beginning to hater? end. Why? Why are you hate it? Because, yo, like. Why? What are you talking about? When Mahomes was lost, you know. Yeah, I know. Listen. You didn't say nothing, but all of a sudden, when yeah, this guy. Well, you guys didn't say nothing? Oh, well, it's because I we think, didn't record episode one. This is a good but... thing for him that he lost now. Yeah, not fair enough. Just take all that pressure, all of fair that enough. craziness right off of you. Get it out the way. Yeah, it, it, I feel like there's, there's always going to be a lot of pressure if you're going to be undefeated because you got to keep that streak. Yeah, you do. Man, it's and, cool. And I, and I get it. It's pressure. You do. No, well, listen. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of. If I was there. I would, I would, I would, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people were saying that he got exposed because everybody kept saying. Remember how I said last episode he was Mario Chalmers. Well, when you take LeBron and D-Wade out, what is Mario Chalmers? That just Mario Chalmers. That what you just saw. That game. It's we, one game. That you we, just we said saw. it last week. We saw this coming at some point. Yeah, it but, just happened to happen yeah, but, a week later. But yeah, I feel like I feel like people can't say that. Yo, y'all can't say that because. Why? It's only one game. Yo, all because one game he lost. All, so all of a sudden, yo, I told you, bro. I don't want to hear it. You just got to hope he learns from whatever mistake he made in yeah, that so, game. So, so what if next game he does great? Yeah, I see only that. Only one happen. way to find I out. I see that happening. I see that happening. Only one way to find out. Uh, but Unless he just starts going on. Yeah. Like, yeah I, think that, I think the team is so put put together like good that they not going to let him fall like that. Bro, with the injuries, bro, that sometimes you can't help it. Maca that, that, with McCaffrey being out, bro, with LeBron James of that team being out, bro, the team looks totally makes different. Job easier. Totally different, yeah, bro. Yeah, and I now agree, Purdy has to do more. His responsibility is higher. So he's either going to have to get better, like like diamonds, you know, pressure. Decisions. Pressure can make diamonds. So all this pressure that he's going through is either going to make him a better quarterback or he's going to fall in line with the other quarterbacks that just didn't plan out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's over. Um... All right, moving on to the next section, guys. Um, I, I kind of wanted to see all the teams that are 5-1. Are and one. You know, there's quite a few this week. You know, since, like I said, the Chiefs are now tied for first. Your reigning Super Bowl champions are tied for first place. You know what I'm saying? Everything's coming back to normal. I can't he put I the can't shades on that. for that. You know what I'm saying? Know, Every time I, I talk about the Yo, Chiefs, I should have muted his mic. Gotta bro. come down, bro. Man, we should have sat on his shades. <laughs> we should have sat on. Was that? Oh wait, wait, is this? One? That's the one I wanted. Let's go! I gotta get used to the sound effects. Man, is it? I gotta get used to the sound effects. So all these five and one teams, bro. Any any thoughts? Um, 
Well, I, I feel like this is a good standing. You know, you know, because I feel like now um everyone could like I, I, just like you said, pressure is off now. So now yes. who's gonna be number one? Yeah. Who's gonna Who, take it? Where do you go? Where do you guys rank these five and one teams? We got the Chiefs, Niners, Finns, Eagles, and Lions. If I had to rank them in order, if I had to rank them in order, yeah, I'd, from best to, to to worst out of the to bunch. To be honest, I think they're ranked just like you said it. I got Chiefs, 49ers, Dolphins, Eagles, and Lions. I think exactly like that. You have exactly like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and only because you just saw how the 49ers look with injury. And you just saw the Dolphins get blown out by the Bills. You saw the Eagles get exposed by the Jets. The Lions scare me. I'm not going to lie to you, but yeah, the Lions scare me. But scare a lot of teams. But but we lost to them by one point and it was it was without our two best players. So, I they got my respect, but I think if we meet them in a head to head again, I think the Chiefs can just beat them all. They can run that table all four of them teams. And well, I'm not even talking as a homie. I got, I got Patrick Mahomes. I got a quick question. What, they rely what, on other players. What would make you put the Finns third and not second? Because the 49ers are the 49ers. So the 49ers are better than the Finns? Yeah, I think so. Right. I think the defense of the... If they was to All lose right. more defending players, then maybe I wouldn't have faith in them. But I think their defense will hold Hill and Tua down a little bit. Purdy... Listen, I, this is my ranking right now. If Purdy does bad again next week, then this might change for me. But as of right now, as of week six, I think that is how the ranking is going. That's just my opinion. What y'all got? Um, me, I have... The 49ers. First, okay. First, mm-hmm. The Chiefs second. Okay. Eagles third. Okay. Mm. The Dolphins fourth. And, the Lions. and then the Lions. Okay, fair enough. I'm not mad at you for that one. What about you, Ramon? I got the Niners first. Okay. Then second. Okay. Chiefs third. Disrespectful. Eagles fourth. And I got the Lions last. Fair enough. And fair it hurt enough. me to put them last. That's, yo, bro, me too, bro. Listen, listen, listen. I have a feeling that in two to three weeks, Maybe, maybe, maybe within next week, maybe within the next two weeks, I have a feeling the Lions are going to be the second best team behind the Chiefs. Um, only because I feel like their offense is only getting better. And God forbid, you know, injuries don't happen to them. I mean, even their best wide receiver got hurt and they still won. You know, they always find a way to win. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I feel like everybody got them five because we're still all iffy on them. Like we like them, but we want to see something amazing out of them. And that's all everybody's waiting for, to be honest. Maybe when they face one of these top tier teams, then we'll have more respect for them. But as of now, I think that's what we. It'll come. Do. It'll come. Um. All right. So going on the opposite side, ranking the one in five teams, yep. the worst of the worst. Uh, of the worst. we got the Cardinals. This is my order, at least. The Cardinals, the Broncos, the Giants. I'm sorry, the Bears, the Giants, the Patriots, and then the Panthers. This was my favorite list to do. Um, the only reason why I got the Cardinals number one is because they've shown me they can score with the best of them, even if they've lost. They can. They showed me that they can put points up. Uh, everything under that, bro, was very hard. <laughs> I didn't really even care about the order, to be honest. I got Broncos because Russell Wilson can still score, even though the, the Broncos' defense is horrible. The Bears have let me down very bad, but I've seen games from the Bears that are better than both the Giants and the Patriots. And the poor Panthers are, they just can't win one, bro. Poor, pa- poor, poor Panthers, man. Young is not, I mean, you got to give Young it's more expected. years, I guess. This is not everybody is, um, um, what's his name? Tech from Texas? Uh, Stroud. Not everybody's Stroud, so you know what I'm saying? His situation is way better. He blessed, man. He, yeah, yo, he, he got a real, better situation. He's a real deal, too, man. Um, all right, well, now we take a break. We'll be back right after these messages. So first, he came down the street, and he hit that car. On the, they were both parked, right? He hit that car right there, left it like that. Look, he hit him so hard, he put him on the sidewalk. And then the other car, this one, oh my God, he lumped his shit too. And then he kept driving, he dipped. He was Audi 3000. Oh, but it doesn't end there. This car hit that car too. Does the other one hit too? Yes. Oh my the God, down. they hit that yeah. one too. <gasps> he messed them all up. And we're back. So, welcome back guys. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> um, all right, so before we left, 
I was ranking my top five teams that are the worst, and I had the Cardinals, Broncos, Bears, Giants, Patriots, Panthers. What do you guys have? Yo, not for nothing. Um, yo, these are some bad teams. Yeah, nah, they they definitely bad, bro. Yeah, so me, I have the Cardinals. Okay. Then I have the Giants. Okay. Mm. Then I have the Broncos. Hold me. <laughs> then I have the Bears. Okay. Patriots and. The wag ass Panthers. Okay, 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 okay. Ramoncito, what you got, bro? My boy Man, Junior. Man, I got Cardinals. Uh huh. Patriots. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Giants. What? Okay. Broncos. Okay. And Panthers. Everybody got Panthers last time. Okay. Are you missing one? And the other team. What was the other team? Say that one more time. Say the list one more time. I, I got Cardinals. Uh huh. Pats. Uh huh. Giants. Uh huh. Broncos. Uh huh. And. The Bears. I put the Bears uh, after the Broncos. And then, and the, then Panthers the Panthers last? Why are you giving the Patriots so much respect? Because even though they suck, they sometimes find a way to win. Okay. I, I, I and thought... their defense. Don't sleep. That defense is still maintaining. But they ain't winning. It ain't the best defense, but they, they are bend, don't break. I guess, right. I, guess you I, mean, they, I guess they got, it's gonna they keep got you, heart. Your defense is going to keep you in games. You know what All I mean? Right, so I guess the question I want to ask you out of these teams, who do you think is going to win first out of these five teams? Cardinals. The Cardinals, man. The Cardinals, right? Already, all right, so we're, we're all agreeing that the Cardinals might be the best out of all yeah, of these. Dog. We're agreeing on something, at least. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right, all right. So now it's come, coming on on my eternal segment. I just created it just for the heck of it. Let's see how this goes. Again, we're gonna bring back the mini games. Um, but first, um, games to look forward to. Um, Chiefs versus Chargers. Oh my God. Again, yo, what talking about you know yo, what I'm talking I, about. I, mean, I might have to blur his face. Nope. I didn't think that's what I'm gonna do. So the Chiefs are facing the Chargers now. The Chargers just lost to the Cowboys. In case you guys didn't even notice. So ima- that's what the Cowboys did to them. Imagine what we're going to do to them next week. Lose. You know what I'm saying? Really? Stay tuned. Mahomes is probably going to show really? something insane like he always does. My boy Pacheco probably going to run it down there. It's going to be a really good game. Make sure you watch that game. It's going to be a conference game. So you know it's going to be, I'm sorry, a, a division game. So you know it's going to be everybody pulling out all the punches. It's going to be an intense game. Oh, yeah. Herbert. One of the um, best quarterbacks in the league right now versus Patrick Mahomes. The best. You're reigning. All right. Go Chargers. Super Bowl <laughs> champion. <laughs> um, all right. So moving on. Um, Lions versus Ravens. Oof. That's going to be a crazy this is, Yeah. Somebody's getting injured in this So one. I got the Lions oh, winning. Oh, I, wait, time out. I didn't even ask y'all. Y'all, got, y'all both got Chargers over the Chiefs? Yeah, I'm going Chargers. Chargers. They're not losing again. Yeah. It's so That's disrespectful, bro. Um, all right. So Lions versus Ravens. I got the Lions on this one. Vegas got the Ravens winning minus three. Yeah, they must know something that we don't. What? Oh. The script. What? I'm still going with Ravens. So this is why I was telling you that I believe not a lot of people got the respect in the Lions that they deserve. This weekend will probably be one of those weekends that it will show us whether they are the real deal or not. The Ravens are a legit team, bro. I mean, they, their record doesn't reflect how good they are. They've had ups and downs, but I think Lamar can still ball out with the best of them. Yo, you think they're still they're still trying to find themselves? Who the Ravens? No, the Lions. the Lions. I don't I don't know, bro. They look like they have fun every time they play. I think they know who they yeah, are. Already. I think I, I think they already made their statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's just it, like yo, Saint Brown, bro. I can't talk enough about that guy, bro. Yeah, he's if a the dog. Chiefs would have had Saint Brown, bro, we would I wouldn't have been nervous not one game, bro. Yeah, he's I nice, bro. Well. So, yeah, yeah, the Lions versus Ravens. Who you got? Who you got? I got Lions. You got Lions? I got Ravens. Sure. You got Ravens? You with Kenny? That's my team. Whoa. I got you. I, I won't leave you hanging. Um, I hope I like you're, uh, for Kenny's sake, man, I hope it's a good, healthy game for you guys when you're done. Facts. <laughs> nah, them, them Lions are oh, serious. So they going to get This is going to be a slobber knocker. Yeah, it's going to be like, a, like they say back in the days, a slobber knocker. The Ravens, the Ravens got a, a really good defense, but the offense of the Lions is really, really good. So it's going to be really fun to watch. That's a, definitely a must watch game. And one more the Eagles versus Dolphins. Bro. To win this game, my boy. So the Eagles just came off of a crazy upset against the Jets, as we said earlier. 
the Dolphins came off of a win. And, you know, the momentum of one is higher than the other. Um, uh, who do I have to win? Tyreek Hill, bro. I'm not betting against Tyreek Hill. Who has the most mismatches? I'm not blaming. I'm not playing. I'm, I will never bet against the Chiefs. Is the only team I bet against Tyreek Hill and that team, bro. <laughs> Um, Tua's really don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to disrespect Tua, but Tua Tyreek Hill is just on another level when it comes to being a wide receiver out there. Who, who y'all got? Who y'all got? Eagles. Eagles. You got Eagles. Man. Fly Eagles. Fly. I'm going fins. You going fins? I respect. Yeah. That. I respect. Oh, I like the fact that our panels keep splitting up. Nobody agreeing. Wolf. Yeah. We're about to find it's a, out. It's a tough one. We're about to find out next week. Who knows this shit? Um. All right. All right. So now jumping into the mini game. Jumping into the mini game. All right, so I looked up some questions, and I messed this up because George, um, you know what I'm saying? I deleted it by mistake, and um, George, that's what's up. I just got to pull it up, you know George what I'm saying? I'll be things. quick, I'll be quick. Point <laughs> is, I got a little mini game, and I looked up the questions, but I forgot to get the answers. Hey man, you could always be prepared. Um, it never goes. It'll way. never go the right way. It'll never go the right way. Um, I just want to make sure that oh. you guys know. So, do I get a phone call too, or what? Because apparently, I suck at these games. Oh, uh, you want to um, get a phone call? Damn, <laughs> we got a lifeline call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do another lifeline. Man, ain't nobody gonna know these though. Uh, this is I'm gonna call through, AAA. This is through week six. Through week six. Ready? Jeez. Who's leading the league in touchdowns right now? Do, 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 do. I'll let you go. Do, do, do. Hey, me? What? Yo, why? Do, do, do. So, Both of you guys can guess right. this one. This can be anybody, um, right? Are, are we talking a quarterback. About, like, a quarterback. quarterback. It's a quarterback. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Do, do, do. Leading? Do, do, do. Who leads the league in interceptions? No, in no, touchdowns. No, in touchdowns? In touchdowns? Yeah. I would say. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. Wait, no. Tua. Yeah. You got Tua? I will say Tua. I can't even say your guy. Definitely not Mahomes. No. Definitely not. I will say Tua. Come on. Damn. Um. I wouldn't even know. All right. <laughs> well, yes. well <laughs> ah, Kirk Cousins and Tua are tied for 14. Josh okay. Allen is at 13. Yeah, Kirk Cousins from the Vikings. 14 touchdowns. And yeah, they're not winning games. That's crazy. That's insane. Wow. You know, it's funny because in my head, I was like, oh, who's been winning? But I'm like, no, it matters about touchdowns. All right, all right, all right. Who's leading the league in interceptions? Do, 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 you got this. Do, do, do. Gonna uh, I want to say Josh. Damn, is it Josh do, do, Allen? Do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to say Josh Allen. You going with Josh? What you got? Yo, Josh Allen. Okay, you're going both with Josh Allen. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys went far off. It was Jimmy Garoppolo with eight. Uh, Jalen Hurts was seven. With Mac Jones was seven. <laughs> Mac Jones was seven, and then Josh Allen was six. So man, why didn't I say Mac Jones, man? Yeah. Come on, what's wrong yeah, with my me? My money was on you. I'm a Jets fan. I should have said that. Damn. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ready, ready. Yeah, this was the easy one. Even Janiel got to get this one. You ready? This is. Don't answer this one. Right now, you probably know this one. You ready? Who is leading the league in rushing? Running back. Leading the league in rushing. Running back. Come on, come on. How would he think that I know this? Your favorite team, bro. I don't got a favorite team. Yes, you do, bro. I oh, I think I know who it is. Come on, bro. McCaffrey. McCaffrey. Come on, man. You have to know McCaffrey is the GOAT right now, McCaffrey, running back. Yeah. I know I, that. But we've, we've said it like every episode. He's at like 500 and something, right? 553, five, yeah. 553. Five, and then with Zach Moss from the Colts. Shout out to Zach Moss no, from the Colts. He's, four, almost, six, six. he's hey, almost had a thousand, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, he, no one's close. Half, LeBron bro. James is hurt, bro. I told you, bro. I, <laughs> I even, I've been giving you the <laughs> hints. Wait a minute. This wait whole wait episode, minute. every episode. Who's, who's close? Uh, so listen, he's at five five three, right? Second place is at four hundred and sixty six. That's uh Henry. At almost ninety ninety something yards differential. Who is it, Henry? Uh, no, Zach Moss from the Colts. Oh, right, right, okay. right. I didn't. I I was not expecting that wow. one to be second. And then okay. and then eighteen. Remember eighteen from the Dolphins yeah. that we couldn't see his name right. Yeah, he he at four sixty. So you know Zach McCaffrey is just. Blowing out no everybody. Names mind you, him. mind you, mm. mind you, he was hurt last week and he still has the crown. <laughs> wow. Man. Oh, <laughs> the, the power of uh prescribed uh stuff that they give you to play football. Is that what it is? Uh, it it awesome. is crazy. All right, well, we're almost reaching to the dawn of the show. 
before we leave, one of my, <laughs> one of a fan favorite, let Ramon cook. I gotta feed my guests before we leave. Uh, Get him. I gotta sear the hibachi grill. All right, man. All right, so today we got a combination. A combination. Like the Jamaicans say. Uh, we got a, a on the plate. We got the Patriots. Oh my. The Bills. Oh my. And the Eagles. Oof. Let's start Wait, with the team. Pats. Yeah, my favorite team, man. Oof. How I love you guys. The Patriots. I love to hate them. So with the Pats, man. Um, I'm not gonna overly cook you because you got cooked last week. Oof. So this week, it's um, I think it's time to switch quarterbacks. Oof. Um. Bill Belichick, man, I think you're going to have to really do something different, man, this year before the year is up to save your team. Maybe he's what needs to be different. Um, they yeah. desperately need, yo, they oh, desperately they, they desperately need to win. Um, <laughs> yo, I'm sorry. They got the Bills next. You think, I don't care how desperate you are. You And they're, and they're the second one on the list. <laughs> Facts, what a God. transition. What a transition. Um, Yeah, just throw them both in the pot together, man. This is insane. Um, Pats, switch it up. Bill Belichick, I don't know, man. If they don't switch it up, the talk is gonna get louder and louder. Louder, bro. Yeah, it, might, it might get worse. I'd be man. listening. I'd be listening to the New, New England radio, like when they talk about the Patriots, and they are out for blood. They want want either a change in the in the whole. Some audience, some people be thinking the fans be thinking that is Mac. Some people be thinking that it's yeah. um the coach. Some people be thinking that the team is was trash. And I think it's just a we're whole gonna, collective. We're gonna learn a lot about Bill Belichick in this year and next year. We're gonna learn a lot about this guy on, on what he does and doesn't do. It's gonna determine a lot it's, about it's him. It's just insane, man. From the top of the mountain, hey, all the way. We're gonna to find the out bottom. if it's, we're gonna find oh. out if it's ego thing or not. Jesus. So the second team, the Bills. Bills, got him. Um, you the guys, yo, you're in my division. I've been rooting for you guys the past three years. Got him. And you guys have been failing those three years. And got this him. year. I feel bad. Like, this is the worst luck you guys had. Whoa. Every major injury that has happened in the league is mm. on their team. Whoa. Damn. All of their top players. This is insane. They got one coming back on defense. Maybe that'll help them. But the Bills, I feel so Von Miller, bad. No? If you know the history of this team going to three Super Bowls back to back against the Cowboys in the 90s and losing at the end. Damn. Like, losing it at the end. Damn. And you've always been the best team in the division till the past came. It just sucks. It looks like this all over again. It's just the Bills are are so weird because Josh Allen looks like a god in some games, and then he looked like Zach Wilson in other games. Like when he like lost, said, to, like the, when he lost to Zach erratic, Wilson, he's the most erratic. And it's like, yo, bro, you can either be a god or a nobody from it's game it's to game, it's, it's bro. The, it's the Brett Favre of our generation. Wow, that's it's crazy. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. You just gotta crazy, hope when he's bro. up. You gotta hope it's at a time that you need it to. Be I up. I hope he's down when he faces the Chiefs. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, and the and let's talk about the Eagles. Okay, what we got? Um, Eagles. How the hell did you lose to us? Get him. We're a team that you're supposed to beat. Get them. To get yourself on track. Especially when you're starting to build traction now. They're starting Ooh. to build traction. And it's like we just stopped them right when it was starting to go. Stop. So we got to hope that the next team does it to them again. Um, Eagles, man, you, um, you're not supposed Fins. to. Yeah, you guys are the biggest disappointment probably. Oh. Yeah, man. Losing a game like that, a big game. You, you're trying to get going, bro. Wow. And this Jalen Hurts, you paid him 200 and what million? A whole lot of money. Just leave it at that. And bro, it's like you're just showing it's getting worse. Like it was the Super Bowl looked bad second half. And now it's looking worse than that. So I hope you, you, he has a so lot. So you don't of, think they can bounce back? There's a lot of pressure and on And they him. got the fins next, bro. There's a lot of pressure. Two in a row. Well, facing this what team. is the world going to say when they lose look, two in a row? Because you want to, look, you want to beat the Jets because if you lose to the fins, it's like, all right, it's a given. Yeah. Now you got the pressure. Now you yeah, got to win this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be rough. Man, that's crazy. Good luck. That's going to be a dog fight. Good luck. <laughs> um. Listen. What I, I I love everything you just said. Cook enough is the food well oh, done. I, I love. Let is, me just. Does it taste good? Let me just throw the little. Does it taste good? Let me see. Let me see. Put a little adobo. Mm. Is that you taste mm. the adobo and oregano in there? Nah, you. Yeah, it was real nah, good. You did, you did good. You did good with the cooking, bro. You did good with it. I'm gonna add a little dessert. <laughs> FYI, last week I was like, you know, the 49ers and the Eagles looked like the most attractive team in the NFL. 
Do they look just as attractive as last week, this week? No, right? They look beatable, right? They look like a team that the Chiefs can beat, right? No. Yes. No. Man. With that being said, <laughs> wow. I'm your host, Miracles. Damn. And it's alongside. Hey, new creation, baby. Miss John. Yo, so Junior. I'm out. Peace. And my boy, Junior. Yeah, Janiel won't be here next week. We'll we maybe the have a special host. Stay tuned to see what happens next week. Yeah. Peace. Peace.